Just to make it clear, Malone. These are for the man who's looking down from heaven. By way of an extremely inadequate apology, Richard, that you've been forced to share your grave with a piece of filth who's looking up. A man who's still wrecking lives, even as he burns in hell. After everything you've put Dawn through, I wish we'd buried you deeper. And I still don't trust you. Think you're not going to put us all through more. Hello, sleepy. Are you kidding? Had about an hour in total. Have you taken your antibiotics? Well, you know I've not if they're there, don't you? Sorry. OK, if I come in? Yeah, of course. You all right, love? Well, it hasn't cleared up, if that's what you mean. So, what now? I have to speak to everyone that I've slept with. So that takes up most of this year and into the next. And the best bit is... I get to speak to Billy and Ellis. Are you all right? Yeah, just my stomach's killing. I should have made sure I was OK. No arguments there. Maybe I should meet some of these blokes. Have a little chat. Oh, cos that won't be at all mortifying. So you want whoever did this to get away with it? I did this. And I'm not getting away with it. This could have a massive impact on the rest of your life. Yes, Dad, that's kind of what I'm saying. But thank you for keeping it in my mind in case I forget it for a single second, which I won't. The rest of your life is still to come. Why can't we just focus on the here and now and do it together? Like people who care about each other. Can we do that? No. But... Are you going to tell them both together? What, and start World War Three? I'll tell Billy first. He'll be the most disgusted and furious. Then telling Ellis will be like a walk in the park. Not. See ya. Thank you. No bother. No, I appreciate it. It's a toilet, Will. I'll let anyone use it. <laughs> How you were. I mean, with Dawn and me. Yeah. Stepping in and calming things down when I was... Stood there all useless. Why, well, it can't be easy for a dad to listen to his daughter's misadventures. Even harder when you know that you're partly responsible for it. She's a grown-up. Who had a messed up childhood. I'm sorry about yesterday as well. Should have been you who took her to the hospital. I'm not her dad. Which is precisely why. In terms of significant others, you've been hers for the past couple of years. Everybody knows it. Yeah, well, perhaps we should have a chat at some point about who's who to whom and what the boundaries are. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, but not right now. I'm busy. Close the door on your way out. <laughs> 